Hi, my name is David Arosemena, known as Bowtie Dave. I'm from Ecuador, born and raised. Been living in the city for six years. Bowtie Dave is a character dress up with a bow tie always, unless I'm wearing traditional Ecuadorian shirts. You cannot really put a bow tie on. And bow tie Dave takes the guitar and basically uses as a percussive instrument similar to a cajon, but basically you're getting two in one, and it all started from an accident, that I accidentally hit the guitar, and it sounded pretty good. And basically, in a nutshell, it's the one-inch punch of Bruce Lee giving that kick drum, and then the snare on the bottom side, which you will hear. session on Sundays called originally Zodiac Sundays and then it wasn't on Sunday it was on the weekend so I changed the name to the Zodiac Jam Session but what is basically is an open jam session where everyone could come to the stage whenever they want without a sign up list and I'll have even aux ready for people to like play with their phones if they want and we'll have basses and guitars and drums available for people to just come in and have a jam. I mean, I think when I got here, I realized that New York has already evolved. <laughs> so I think we anything in life, specifically art, because of the new technologies that there are, it will always be evolving. And the way I've seen it happen, at least with my friends, is being that now they're like, you know, packing shows, Everyone is focusing on the, their own projects. What I'm planning for my birthday on September 23rd is gonna be a master class on the day on percussive guitar and looping for artists that are trying to incorporate different elements to their solo act. And then at six, I'm gonna open up the, the show and then it's gonna be the Zodiac Jam session. Again, probably gonna be a start of more to come and as I described before, it's going to be an open jam where anyone can join the stage at any time and instruments will be ready for them. The pandemic has affected all of us. The music in the entertainment industry in general was extremely affected still to this day. But the positive aspect, I mean, the negative aspect, I guess, is the fact that you, there, there wasn't a place to perform in or to do sound slowly opening back up. For me, the pandemic made me focus on the stuff I care about the most, giving me the importance to, you know, be both side day again. Who's right? Man, I don't know. Google it. 